Hi everybody, this is Mark Siegel and in this video tutorial for PowerSchool I'm going to show you how to set up your categories and give them designated points and percentages and all that stuff right now. Uh, so uh, I have already logged into PowerSchool Pro so please make sure you do that and uh, what you want to do is you want to click on your A plus grading button that's here in this upper left hand corner and click categories. So you'll notice that uh, when you click this if you haven't done this already, you will see that there are certain ones that are already designated for you uh, by the district, classwork, project, quiz, test, district, quarterly. Now, anything that has this little school house next to it are things that you can't really change. Now, what I'm going to do actually for you is, if any of those don't work, let's turn them off. So obviously you can't turn off the quarterly, but let's say um, you don't do classwork or you don't grade classwork more importantly. So what you want to do is you want to click this edit button which is the pencil on the right hand side. And you'll notice that there are uh, is an active button and an inactive button. So on the in, what I want to do is I don't grade classwork so I'm going to turn this category off. And this way it doesn't appear anywhere else. Now I can't delete it because it's a district made category. So you'll notice if I try to click delete it gives me the no way Jose sign. Uh, so there's nothing I can do. That's why I'm going to turn this button just off and click save. So now it just simply disappears from the list. It's not gone. It's still there, but it's just not there to be used. Okay. So if I want to create my own category, I'm going to click this plus create button that's up here. And when I click it, you'll see it says category. Now, um, what's interesting about the category button is the new feature is I can select which class it actually goes to. So let's say I teach something that is only um, applies to one section or one type of class. Well, I can choose that class from the list. It defaults, as you can see, to all classes. Um, but if I only wanted, let's say, my 5A class, I could have it only apply to my 5A class or I can just click all the other classes except 5A, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to leave this so that it's, this applies to all classes. Uh, now I have to give it a name, of course. So I'm going to name it uh, Chemistry um, Final Assessments. So that's a particular category in my class. I am going to give it a color. Let's make it a blah tan. I can give it the description if I want to, but I'm not going to at this time. And then I want to go to this assignment defaults. Now, this is where the important part comes in. So this depends on how you set up your class. So if this assignment is um, a percentage, so you're going to give it like an 89.5 or whatever it is, and it's always going to be percents every time, then I would choose percents. If I'm going to do points, oh, it's going to be 15 points, then I would click points. So uh, this has no bearing on your marking period calculation. This is strictly for this particular type of category. So since I work on points, I'm going to click points. And my default points will for this assignment will always be uh, 35 points. Now, if I gave extra credit on this assignment, I would add the extra points in there. So sometimes this assignment has three extra points to it. So you can see that it'll say the max that you could possibly enter is 38. So if I tried to type in 39, it's immediately going to give me an error and say, no, you can't do that. And that's OK. Now, um, here it says, do I want this to count in the final grade? Yes, I want these points to count in the final grade. Uh, and that's all I have to do. If I want to see my all my other categories, I can, but I don't need to do that. So now I'm going to give it a save button. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. If, let's say, you have an assignment that counts more than another thing. So let's say you had, let's say, homeworks counted for one and a half, whatever their values are. They're always two points, but I want them to count for three points kind of thing, but in the weight. Well, I could then add my weighting here so that it would add a percentage to that, uh, but I don't do that category. Talk to your administrator, your colleagues, if, you, if you're going to set it up like that. And then we click Save. And boom, you can see that Chemistry Final Assessments is now there. Now, when I make an assignment, my assignment, that will now be one of the particular categories that I can choose to count to categorize it in and then at the end of the marking period I can then turn around and make this one of the percentages of the overall marking period grade when I'm done.
If you have any questions about setting up your gradebook, PowerSchool, or setting up your categories, you're having issues, please reach out to either myself, Mark Siegel, or Eileen Fallon, and we'd be happy to help you with any concerns that you may have.